of instability. In a phase of instability, the motion of thought alone is sufficient for the system to start to change. I do not always see it. When my own mistake or sin comes back to me in another guise, although essentially it is a single unit, whatever it is that I did wrong returns to me, not as punishment, but as a result. With all the abundance of water on the planet, less than 1% of it is available fresh water. This supply has been practically unchanged in the course of human history, while the population has been constantly growing. The world has never seen as many people as there are on the planet today, 6.5 billion. There would have been enough fresh water for everybody if it were not for the severe attack of the human civilization. Look, imagine, if there will simply not be any water, that it will go away deep underground. Who shall give you water which will spout freely from the ground and be easy for you to reach? Today, more than a billion people of the earth lack access to safe drinking water. Over five million people, half of them children, die from this reason each year. This is 10 times more than perish from wars each year. If this problem is left unsolved, water may become a source of international conflict in the 21st century. Already now, it is gradually attaining the status of a base resource which is beginning to figure in the political dialogue among countries and peoples. See, we talk a lot about an upcoming oil crisis because we will run out of oil. But I think it is even more important that we worry about the water that we don't run into a water crisis. According to UN data, around 10 million tons of oil annually pours into the world's oceans. Along the US Atlantic coast are buried 90,000 containers of radioactive waste with 100 kilocuries of activity, while the European part has 500 kilocuries. Countries with sea access dump industrial, construction, and radioactive waste into the ocean. As it is dumped and descends through a column of water, some of the polluting substances dissolve and change not only the quality of the water, but also its memory. The ocean is also still capable of erasing these memories because of its salinity. But nonetheless, the dilution effect is there. It also needs to be discussed and studied. Because at very great levels of delusion, sometimes a memory begins to have even a stronger influence than at slight, so to speak, levels of delusion with high concentrations. We have to pay attention to this. This is a very difficult period of our planetary existence. Today, we've already plowed up all the lands possible, and we've lost 33% of our green covering and half the plankton in the ocean. So the problem might seem to be far off, but there is water everywhere. In the past year, the temperature of the cold, deep sea waters under the Gulf Stream fell by one degree. In the past nine years, the rate of melting of Greenland's icebergs has tripled. In the past 30 years, the destructive force of hurricanes has doubled. The number of natural disasters is rising. In the decade from 1973 through 1982, 1,500 disasters occurred worldwide. In 1983 to 1992, there were 3,500. In 1993 to 2002, there were 6,000. 
226,000 people died or disappeared during the December 2004 tsunami in Southeast Asia, while half a million were left homeless. The October 2005 flood in Europe left 200,000 people homeless. Over 1,300 people died during Hurricane Katrina in August 2005. One million people were left homeless. Almost four million people have died in natural disasters during the past 30 years, while 4.5 billion people were affected. Если спросить сегодня простого человека на улице, if you ask the ordinary man on the street today whether or not man and human activity are to blame for the increased number of hurricanes on the planet and their increased destructive force, I think that every other person will say yes. This is a consequence of human activity. Это следствие человеческой деятельности. I think that. Uh, what's happening in our world today, uh, all the uh, tsunamis and the freak weather everywhere and uh, the terrorism and the fear that is uh, gripping us, all of the things that are happening uh, is a result of unhealthy individual health. And it affects the other way too. Okay, and also I think it's, uh, it, it's a result of water being polluted. The phenomenon of structural memory enables water to take an impression of everything that happens around it and to connect all living systems together. And each one of us is a link in an endless chain of information transmission. But in addition, each of us is also a source of information Every one of our actions, a thought, an emotion, an uttered word, separates from us and becomes part of the overall energo-informational environment. Informational dirt is poisoning the water, accumulating layer by layer in its memory. If that process were to continue endlessly, the water could, in essence, lose its mind. But it is endowed with a self-cleansing capacity. This occurs at the moment of phase transition, when it vaporizes, and then condenses and falls as rain, or when it freezes and then melts. Shaking off the informational grime, water preserves its basic structure, that is, the program for life. Einstein, basically. Einstein for example, once said, I would like to know what he was thinking meaning God. Everything else is just details, but I would like to know how he created this world. Everything begins in water. In a certain sense, we can say that everything originates in water, and in water, everything comes to an end. For all peoples, a person must be clean in order to stand before God. In all of the world's religions, water is a kind of intermediary that unites man with the Creator. The Jews perform ablutions or cleansing with water in mikvahs. For Muslims, ablution is a prerequisite for prayer. If we trace the references to water in the Holy Scripture, they are often associated with the idea of purification. This is most vivid, of course, in the narrative of the baptism of the Israelites in the River Jordan in the time of the prophet John, 
John the Baptist. 